today, the last day in Patagonia, they take the catamaran ferry to Pudetto Jetty, where their driver will meet them for the drive back to Puerto Nutales. A beautiful morning, but windy, of course. Tomas and one of their porters hold their duffel bags down the jetty as the catamaran ferry appeared in the distance. Yeah. Soon, they were on their way for the 30-minute crossing of Lago Peoe, enjoying dramatic views of the Pain Masi and the impressive black slate horn of Cronos de Pain. Just before arriving at Pudetto Jetty, a final surprise. An impressive waterfall as the turquoise water of Lago Nordenskult cascades down and into Lago Feo. a different kind of traffic jam on the two-hour drive to Puto Nutales. After Tomas wrapped Brian's ankle with new athletic tape, they went shopping. Opa needed a new pair of boots for their next adventure, Antarctica. Right. So tonight we're at Altiplanico, eh? one of the nice restaurants with a great food. Eh? It's a selection. Yeah. Oh, awesome. And it's right here they met the Tomas at the Agalus planet for their farewell dinner. Okay, Tomas, you do it again. Okay. So let's do a toast for your trip in Patagonia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think you prove your father how strong you are in the mountain. <laughs> well, for a fantastic trip, thank you. 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 Awesome. You were the last on the trail. No one could follow you on the trail. You, know, all the other you guys were fed on something we don't know. He was fed on way. Uh, on the second night of the trek, Tomas treated Opa's leg cramps with a concoction made from whey protein powder. Yeah, that way was awesome. That way was. Amazing. That that way was amazing. And so the banter continued until bedtime. Placebo is fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm good with the placebo effect. <laughs> well, it worked for me. It's beautiful. It's all that matters. It was worth it. No pressure at all.